We are following new details about a deadly house fire in Chesterfield County. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. First responders say a domestic incident between the homeowner on Walnutwood Drive and an 85 year old man led to the blaze. 8 News reporter Jamal Williams is live in Chesterfield and Jamal police are saying this fire was intentionally set. Deanna Eric, good evening. I'm here in front of Chesterfield Police Station where authorities say that yes, 85 year old Young Hai Lee committed arson and ultimately died in the fire. I spoke with an anonymous neighbor who says it was a situation he never saw coming. One neighbor says a normal Sunday afternoon took a tragic turn on Walnut Drive in Chesterfield County. That's just a quiet morning. Like, I mean, I do regular thing. I clean up my car and do uh, yard work um, until I uh, Around 1.30, then I left work. But an hour later, first responders were called to the neighborhood for a reported fire. On their way there, they got word about a police issue taking place at the same time. Authorities say a domestic incident happened at the house that prompted crews to hold off before going inside. They now believe 85-year-old Young Hai Lee broke into the crawl space under the house, barricaded himself, and then set the house on fire where he died. I'm really surprised and sad. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's it, it quite a surprise for us too because, like, like I say, I haven't seen anything like big argument or anything during to uh, his family lately. So, uh, something bring it to this situation, it had to be really big. The neighbor I spoke with says the situation can serve as a cautionary tale for his family should they ever have a disagreement. We should be like, you know, uh, sit down and talk. Uh, we don't need to let it like happen to the to the final step like this. Now, crews say the fire was put out in less than an hour, and that they believe that Lee did have weapons, but found no weapons on him once he was found. Live in Chesterfield County, Jamal Williams, Eight News.